thing I'm about to do, make the biggest mistake of my life or the best decision of my life. Okay. Okay. This doesn't seem like a great idea now. <laughs> The great thing about Norway is there's so little people. It's not as awkward to film. And my hands are freezing because I haven't gotten a chance to put on my gloves yet. I came here last night. Everything's so expensive, but I found pumpkin soup and it's cold. So I really want a soup. It's about 16.5 pounds. So I didn't go. I went to McDonald's and said, McDonald's is 13 pounds. This is nice. Oh. There's no way you could capture the color of the sky and the sea, the lights and the span of how just wide open the sky is. There's no way you could do that. So people buy a ticket. I need to take a moment and check out the scene first and then I'll come back to filming. The structure itself inside is a sauna, but people could jump into the field right after. I'm a bit hungry, so I might get something to snack on. It has pulled apart pork in it, some cheddar. Don't know if that's Swiss cheese, it looks like it is. Oh, caramelized onions. biggest mistake of my life or the best decision of my life that in front of you my friend is the fjord this is gonna be really bad or really great depending on perspective okay seem like a great idea okay oh, we're gonna jump can you still move after you jump <laughs> okay okay this doesn't seem like a great idea now <laughs> shit okay one of us has to one of us has to go i'm just gonna tie my hair real quick okay you want to get it oh. no Oddly, I don't really feel it. It doesn't feel that bad. I think I need a towel right now. I just left Salt. We are at... I don't know where we're at. We're by the fjord, I think. I could see the sea. I was hoping to head to a place called Vipa. Are there, there are people inside. Okay, great. Look. Got this creamy fish soup and a 
fried dumplings, spinach flavor. And what I find very interesting is they put, I think this is mayonnaise, right next to the soup. There's um, carrots in it, fish pieces in it, dill. It's really, really nice. This is a very interesting industrial complex. It's in the middle of nowhere, like I showed you before. It's literally right next to the ocean. It seems like the type of place that will have more people during lunchtime. I tried with a, a couple of locals, asking them what they recommend I do and where is their favorite place in Oslo. All of them answered, Brune Loka. I'm butchering Norwegian. Norway as a country in history didn't really establish itself on based on towns. There are no small towns. It's all just individual architecture buildings, just one-on-one -on -one in the rural area. So it's very much scattered. There's no clustered uh, community. There are some agricultural and fishing communities, but it's not big enough ever to be called a town and it's never got that political and economical structure. This is really great red wine, by the way. Tomorrow we're going to the opera, hopefully. The sculpture park, hopefully. Then I finish my wine and my bread. And then I'm gonna take the bus home, work on my essay, and I'll see you tomorrow. Um, they're playing Symphony Number no. 8 by Mueller. There are only two nights that the, I think it's the Oslo National Orchestra is performing this and both days have been sold out. There's no second hand ticket, so I'm just gonna try my luck. So I stayed up doing a bit of work, just so I don't have to carry all my reading materials when I get to Tromsø. This really looks like I'm walking in the snow. I think maybe it's because I'm wearing white. I don't even know how I'm supposed to get out there. Okay, they use the step. He's on this side. Cool. I'll follow him. <laughs> I am quite afraid of height. I don't know if this is a good idea. That seems like a very long way up. Okay, should we do this? I mean, I'm already here. I'm gonna go up. This doesn't really seem like a great idea. Okay, let's look at the view. Let's don't think about that. Why am I always doing this to myself? Okay, you're alive. You're alive. You're so alive. Don't look that way. Don't look that way. Oh, I do it for the vlog. I'm gonna film that way, but I'm not gonna look that way. This, this, this is just... Uh, fuck. <laughs> Zeus, I'm losing my shit. I'm losing my shit because I am on top of the Norwegian National Opera House. I'm not joking when I say on top. I mean literally, I am on top of the Opera House. Don't drop the phone. Don't drop the phone. Okay, okay. I'm holding on to the rail. I am holding on to their life. The view is amazing. However, I am extremely terrified of heights. And I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm always making questionable decisions like jumping into ice cold water and also getting on top of a freaking building when you're afraid of height. I don't know what I'm doing. But this is, I mean, the view is great. It's very high. People look tiny. Okay. I'm gonna attempt to walk down and attempt to not drop my phone. The people are people are leaving. I don't want to lose track of the, and there's a bird flying right next to me. Okay, okay. Stay alive. Don't die. Don't die here. Don't die on a rooftop. That's not a great way to go. Okay, bye. Basically, the guy told me that yes, the tickets are sold out for the orchestra. However, there are always some people trying to return the ticket, but the opera cannot buy the tickets back. So they will come here and bring the tickets and we just have to bring cash to pay the person selling the ticket. So he advised me to return here around 6 to 6.30. Just to try my luck, see if there's anyone returning the ticket. Hopefully that will happen. Ooh, that looks really cool.
call my ticket is already expired because it's 24 hours and these are just lying around so why not okay i unlocked it that's surprisingly easy well it says i have to press here to accelerate this is the wait what's the brake oh that's the brake okay that's the brake um how do i do this <laughs> We're just gonna roll. We're just gonna do this. Let's do this. 